What do boat builders do when Mercury puts out a 7.6 liter 600 horsepower V12 outboard? Well, build a bigger boat and stuff four of them on the back, of course. This is the brand new 2021 V46 from Valhalla Boatworks. In 2019, New Jersey-based Viking Yachts launched Valhalla Boatworks, its own line of high-performance luxury center consoles with 33, 37, and 41-foot versions. With the inside tip on Mercury's biggest outboard ever, 2021 brings us the biggest Valhalla ever. 46 feet 6 inches long, 13 feet 4 inches wide, weighing in at over 26,800 pounds dry. With super aggressive lines, charcoal black gel coat, and quad 600s hanging off the back, this V46 is one mean machine. We were lucky enough to get on board at Historic Lake X for the launch of the 600 Verado. Viking has been in business for well over 50 years and uh, we have a great customer base. Internally, we, we really wanted badly to come out with our online and center consoles and we really wanted something that would live up to the expectations of our customers, not only in fit and finish, but the, the customer service our, our dealers provide. It's been incredible. You know, there's some fine details on a boat like this that you see the DNA of the larger Vikings. We wanted the full stainless rub rail around the transom to give you that traditional transom look. The cleanliness of the helm is something you're gonna see on any larger Viking yacht. We just introduced the boat about two weeks ago down in Riviera Beach, Florida. It's been amazing. It's exceeded all, all expectations. A lot of people with our V41 were pushing us for a cabin, air conditioning, refrigeration, diesel generator, a larger sea keeper, and we quickly looked into all of that on our 41 and really decided quickly we needed a, a larger boat. Here we are, less than a year later, standing on our new 46. With the Viking name and decades of quality and performance behind it, the V46 doesn't come cheap, but there is plenty of bang for your buck. Before we get out on the water, let's take a look around this brand new boat. In the spacious bow, we see some of the abundance of seating options around the boat, with two premium stitch benches on either side with teak backrests to face forward. Just in front of a massive and super comfortable lounger integrated into the console, with flip down armrests and a row of cup and rod holders on each side. Under both forward seats are sizable storage compartments, along with a deep compartment in the floor perfect for fenders and other gear. Fully forward on the center line is a raised teak step with storage inside that can come in handy for casting or to access the anchor locker and ground tackle. Padded bolsters run the length of the combing, great for leaning against the hull and fish. Along the gunnels we find tons of storage that lends to the fishability of the V46 with large compartments for rods and tackle boxes and five fish boxes around the deck, all plumbed for overboard drainage. The cockpit is nice and wide open with an aft facing bench with two self-draining fish boxes under the seat cushions. On either side in the deck is a large storage compartment and on the center line a cavernous lazarette housing the live well system and a second hatch where we find the available sea keeper system mounted to the stringer system of the boat. And built into the transom are a pair of giant 54 gallon live wells. The helm and console are quite impressive on the V46. Flush mounted in black acrylic on the dash are a 22 inch touchscreen surrounded by two 17 inch screens just below eye level, above a row of push button LED switches to give the dash a super clean finished look. The steering wheel sits on center with the brand new Mercury digital throttle and shift and joystick controls just to starboard and a glove box on either side, one of which holds the VHF and in the other are switches to manage three fuel tanks and live well flow. Another large storage compartment is built into the footrest. Seating at the helm and console is as comfy as it is stylish, all with flip down bolsters, polished wood armrests, and electric slides, with four more in a second row a few inches higher for better visibility for guests and crew. The fiberglass hardtop features spreader lights, radar pod, and a six rod rocket launcher. It all sits on a platform elevated by seven inches, maximizing visibility and adding more space to the cabin below. And underneath is where we really see the influence of Valhalla's parent, Viking Yachts. Access is from the port side door to an air-conditioned cabin with six foot seven inches of headroom with plenty of natural light from portholes along either side. 
The forward dinette features U-shaped seating with bolstered backrests, a TV, and soft pot lighting, and converts to a V-berth by dropping the polished wood table. The starboard side galley holds a microwave oven, stainless steel sink, two burner stove, and a fridge freezer combo drawer. Just aft of the galley is a roomy wet head with shower and a molded in vanity. And through the head we access the large machinery room with a 9 kilowatt diesel generator along with other critical mechanical systems. The fit and finish throughout the V46 is striking with a lot of the style clearly influenced from Vikings cruising yachts and sport fish boats. But more impressive is its performance on the water. In building its biggest model ever, Valhalla stuck with the same design principles as the popular models in the rest of its fleet. S-shaped shear, double chines, and a double-stepped deep V-hull. The end product is a fast, agile, and smooth and efficient ride, impressive for something of this size. Time to plane under a 30,000 pound load was quick as we accelerated from zero to 30 miles per hour in less than seven seconds. But we sped past that. How fast can you get this thing going? <laughs> All right. There's 70, 70 miles an hour. It feels like we're floating on a cloud here. 74 miles an hour. I, it didn't feel like we were going over 25. That is crazy. Best cruising speed on the V46 was just over 50 miles an hour. At speed, the boat rides on both steps for an incredibly stable ride without touching the wheel. Helped by the Zipwake trim control system, which also improves planing speed and fuel efficiency. With a 694 gallon fuel tank, this boat has the legs to get you miles offshore in a hurry. Outboard power options range from triple or quad Verado 400s, Yamaha V8 425s, or Mercury V8 450Rs, but since we were at Lake X for the Whisper Quiet new 600s, our test model had four of those bad boys behind it. 2400 horsepower, we've got 48 cylinders back here, and the wind is the loudest thing. Uh, these engines are so quiet, you forget how fast you're going in this Valhalla V46 until you step out from behind the console and the wind almost knocks you back. The V46 is packed with performance, loaded with luxury, and doesn't skimp on fishability. This is one truly, truly impressive boat.